Executive Committee meeting and uh, as uh, required by the law that every two and a half years we have to present to Parliament a new leadership. So it is our humble uh, opportunity to present to you members of the media and the nation at large our new leadership team in the next half of this parliamentary term. Foreign Affairs, the Honorable Mwadan Kunyinji, Chadondo East Constituency in Wakiso District. Land, Housing and Urban Development, the Honorable Lutamaguzi Paul Semakula, Nakaseke South Constituency in Nakaseke District. Energy and Minerals, the Honorable Ronald Evans Kanyike. Finance, Planning and Economic Development, the Honorable Ibrahim Semuji Uganda, Chira Municipality in Wakiso District. Justice and Constitutional Affairs, Honorable Jonathan Odul, Elute South in Lira District. Local Governments Committee, the Honorable Kawalia Bubeka, Lubaga North Constituency in Kampala. The Chairperson of the Local Governments Committee, Honorable Gilbert Olanya, Kilak South in Amuru District. Vice Chair, uh, Chairperson, Government Assurances Committee, the Honorable Abed Wanika, Chimanya Kabonera in Masaka City. Deputized by the Honorable Joyce Bagal and Tuatua, Woman Member of Parliament for Mitiana District. Everyone who has supported me and my team throughout the last two years, our journey is not a journey of positions. It is a journey of making Uganda better. I want to invite all that believe in a new and better Uganda to back the new team leader in Parliament. Back him up and do not undermine him. Advise him, do not backstab him. Work with him, do not downplay his energy, sacrifice and effort. To my new team leader, you have my back. And I'm glad you have offered to give me assistance and guidance. I will look forward to that because um, we keep learning. The Right Honorable Mathias Simpuga and Samba has been in politics for quite a bit of time. This is his third term in Parliament. It's my first term in Parliament, so I have every reason to keep consulting him and the other colleagues on uh, how we ought to do the work that we ought to do. One of our rules of procedure provides that the cardinal role of the leader of the opposition is to keep government in check. Together with the team I'll be working with, we pledge to do that role as God enables us. But we call on everybody out there, let's all play our part. As we ignite the fire in Parliament, let each of us play our part wherever it is that we are. Okay. This is not a firing like some detractors would like to call it. It's not a demotion like some detractors would love to call it. It is a moral change. It is our belief that because we have the resourcefulness and the blessing of senior leaders, of experienced leaders and knowledgeable leaders, we want to use that to again also empower and groom younger leaders. To the incoming leader of opposition, uh, Honorable Joel Senyonyi, like we usually say in the ghetto, Olinye Tokota, you are justified to worry. I wouldn't blame you if you get worried because you're replacing, you're fitting into very big shoes. But I want to tell you, my brother, that you have an even bigger reason to be confident because you are surrounded with resource. You are surrounded with love and support. And we are confident that you will deliver even beyond your own imagination, God helping you. Let's take a picture. Two yeah. Uh, I'm going to go to the next one.